Well, last night on ABC4 News, we broke this story. This is a scam with possible victims here in Utah. A phony call that could end up costing you a lot of money. ABC4's Buddy Blankenfeld is covering the story. And Buddy, you have more people coming forward now that may be potential victims of this scam. Yeah, Ross, since we aired the story last night, several people have contacted us with similar encounters of an automated, automated phone call with a seemingly urgent message. I was really concerned, yeah, that maybe somebody else would get caught up in this and, and, and lose some money. Mike Maxfield got the call. Just saying, uh, local credit union, and we believe that there's been some unauthorized use of your credit card. With caller ID, he traced the call to a Bermuda business. Roxanne Sauer got a similar call that she traced to a California janitorial supply. The company told her they'd received dozens of calls. Audrey Flanders' bogus call came from Miami, Florida. At first, I thought it was legitimate. Audrey says her daughter took the automated call that said her mom's credit union account was suspended. Well, that's what my 12-year-old heard and immediately called me at work and said, Mom, I think you need to do something. Your credit card's been stolen. Audrey did do something. She looked up the number of the suspicious caller. There he is. A private number she's called a couple of times with the same result. Hello. We're not available to take your call at this time. We tried calling Mike Maxfield's Bermuda number. We uh, only do business in Bermuda. And got a very brief response before the conversation was cut short. I will call you back in a couple minutes. That call never came. Similar scenarios at the Attorney General's office says seems to be happening more and more these days. Obviously people are panicked with the state of the economy and so you know, that's a perfect opportunity when people are scared. A moment of weakness or lack of judgment scammers are counting on to take your money what credit card customers can count on. You will never ever get contacted in this fashion from a legitimate business. If you're ever asked to give personal information on the phone, always remember, never respond. Now only one person who contacted us gave their credit card number on that phone call, but quickly canceled it when that, the card when they realized what had happened. So far, no one has come forward that's had money stolen. Ross? All right, buddy, thank you. Well, you know, you can report these scams based in our state to the Utah Attorney General's office, but most likely these calls are going to originate out of state, maybe even out of country. And for those, you need to contact the Federal Trade Commission Bureau of Consumer Protection.